In this problem, we're trying to solve for the x, but the x happens to be attached to the log. Now this 2, I typically tend to put things right behind log in parentheses when they're multiplied. It helps uh, guide and structure how you're going to be doing your problem. Now there's no subscript in this problem. When that happens, it is a guaranteed subscript of 10. We're in a base 10 system. We count by 10s, we use our money by 10s, and our decimal system includes the number 0. So what happens is, if you really want to get x by itself, you have to convert this. And what you're doing is you're changing it from logarithmic form to what's called exponential form. Now, I teach my kids to do this as a process. What happens is we take this 10, and we really want it to equal 2x. So I use these arrows to guide us. I say, let's make this equal. Well, in math, if you want two things to equal each other, you just use an equal sign. Then what I do is I take this quantity here, and I say, all right, the only way that these two things are going to equal each other is if you use exponents. So this value right here has to be the exponent of the original thing. So we put a negative 1 right there. This is how you convert from logarithmic form to exponential form. So now your problem looks like this. It says 10 to the negative 1 power equals 2x. Well, 10 to the negative 1 power happens to equal 1 and 1 tenth. That's basic exponential rules. Well, now you just need to get rid of this too. Now, some students have difficulties with this. They, they mess up simple calculations. This is what I recommend when dealing with fractions. You obviously know you're supposed to divide by 2. What I'll do is I'll say, how about you write it this way? Divide by 2 and divide by 2. Instead of doing it the normal way, which most teachers put right underneath. That way you can cross out your business. You could say, all right, 2 divided by 2 is 1. These cross out. X is by itself. And now what you're left with is fraction, oh, excuse me, out of the picture, is fraction arithmetic. You can multiply those together because those are basic division rules. And X equals 1 20th. And that's how you would solve for x when it's behind a logarithm.